The Widmaster Pro is based on a PC, small enough to fit into the palm of your hand. It's completely self-contained, comes with a 1 GHz processor, 1 GB of RAM, and at least 120 GB of hard drive. The front panel holds the auxiliary power switch and two lights, indicating power and hard disk access. The Widmaster also has an input for external microphone and speaker output, which can be used to give audible alerts to the operators. Widmaster comes with four USB ports, one of which will be used to connect to the camera. The other three USB ports can then be used to connect the Widmaster to multiple cameras. The side of the Widmaster also comes with extra mounting holes. The back panel is equipped with an RS-232 DV9 port and an exhaust port for the Widmaster's fan. The fan runs at a very low velocity. It's hard to even feel the air coming out of it because it runs at such a low power. It also has a VGA connector and a 10 base T connector. When hooking up to simple serial communications, you would use the RS-232 DV9 port. Just below it lies the input for the 12 volt power supply included with each purchase of the Widmaster. The RS-232 port would also be used for SEX2. HSMS, however, would be run through the 10 base T port. The VGA connection can be used for an optional remote display, which can be placed up to 2 meters from the camera. This display can then be used to view a constant feed of the real-time image being processed. This video will take you through how to set up the Widmaster. After you have removed everything from the shipping box, you should have four items in front of you. The Widmaster computer, the Widmaster camera, the camera lens, and the power cord. In order to start using your Widmaster, you'll need a few more things as well. Make sure that you have a USB cable, a camera mount, a VGA cord, a separate computer and monitor, and a nearby power outlet. The second computer is used only for the Widmaster's initial setup in order to customize your settings. Any monitor with XGA resolution, that is 1024 by 768 resolution or higher, will work. Now that you have everything unpacked and in front of you, it's time to set up the Widmaster. First, you need to hook up the Widmaster to the computer monitor. Again, this second monitor is only needed for the initial setup. You will connect the Widmaster to the monitor using the VGA cable. The VGA connector is found on the back panel of the Widmaster. Next, turn on the computer. In just a few moments, the Widmaster software should automatically open on the computer. Meanwhile, you will need to screw the camera lens into the camera body. Fastening the camera to a camera mount will help keep the image steady. Make sure that the screw you use is 6mm by 1mm. If you use a screw that is too long, it can damage the camera's circuit boards. Once you have the camera mount ready, you will need to install the power pack. Note the AC and DC ends of the cable. The DC end will plug into the back of the Widmaster. The AC end then connects to the power outlet. You will also need to connect the Widmaster with the computer keyboard and mouse using a USB cable. The USB ports are located on the Widmaster's front panel. While the system warms up, you can go ahead and connect the Widmaster to the camera, again using a USB cable. You will also need a test wafer for the camera to read. You will learn how to adjust the image later. For now, simply set the wafer under the lens. By now, the software should be starting up on the computer. Now you are ready to adjust the Widmaster's settings for its first use. The next video, Adjusting the Widmaster Settings, will walk you through how to take that first reading.
The camera shell is custom manufactured at Gifford Engineering. The inside contains a standard camera body, or CCD board, a CMOS imager with exceptional picture quality. The camera comes with a 2 megapixel element, which is embedded deep within the camera. Its industrial strength aluminum case makes it able to withstand plenty of wear and tear. The bottom panel has a 6mm by 1mm pitch hole for secure mounting. The camera uses a C-mount thread, allowing you to choose from a numerous selection of compatible lenses. This 25mm lens is an example of a typical installation. Its working distance is 200mm. The camera is connected to the Widmaster by the USB port on the back panel. The USB cable included with purchase of the Widmaster has plenty of length, giving you the freedom to spread the camera up to 4 meters away from the Widmaster itself. The rim of the camera holds 8 LED lights, which can be used for increased lighting control. The camera has a digital zoom of up to 400% and pan and tilt giving great mobility when creating the region of interest. With the Widmaster Pro, you have complete control over exposure and gain. Exposure time, for example, can be adjusted to fit the 50 to 60 cycles of background lighting coming from fluorescent light. The gain can be adjusted to give you the strength of signal you need to accurately extract the digital information from the video feed. The Widmaster Pro supports the three most common types of wafer ID, BC412 or barcode, OCR or optical character recognition, and T7 or 2D barcode. The Widmaster Pro also offers optional software that you can ask to be custom configured to tailor your specific needs, such as giving wafer IDs mark and size. The software was developed using C Sharp so if you would like to include the Widmaster software into one of your existing applications, we can easily link the two using either Dynamic Link Library or source code.